Good afternoon. I've decided to finally use my compost bin. I've been, I made this compost bin for over a year and I've probably had stuff in it for well over uh, nine months. So let me turn this camera around so you can see what my compost bin looks like. That's the compost bin. And it finally got compost in it. And that's what's left of it right there. In the compost bin, some uncomposed uh, eggshells, but mostly all the wood chips and stuff I had and have turned to dirt. Now what I have here is the compost that I've taken out of it. I'm gonna take this compost and I'm gonna put it on my, uh, on my cushion that I have growing. And it's been raining and the ground is extremely wet, but my cushion is growing pretty good. That is the biggest one right there. There's another smaller one right there, buried in the ground. There's a third one right there. Then further around here on the other side, if I can find it, I have yet a fourth cushion. And there's the fourth one right there. Now some of the leaves here in the middle have turned on, uh, have turned brown, but the ones that are outlined are still uh, are still pretty green. So I'm gonna properly pull up and cut off the uh, the dead leaves and I'm gonna take this compost and I'm gonna place the compost inside the garden bed and see how much it helps the growth of these kushals. For the you that have seen my other my other videos, you know that uh kushal is a squash and it's grown in Louisiana, but not to a great extent. The two, I guess, squashes that I see growing in Louisiana that most people don't grow are Merlotones, which are small and green, uh, Sheody Pear, as they call them, Sheody, they call them in other places, and also the, uh, the, uh, the Kusha. And I stated earlier, unlike most squash, Kusha is eaten sweet. You add sugar to it and butter and milk and cinnamon and maybe nutmeg and eggs and you take it and take and make it into a uh, into a pie or if you do like my wife's family do you don't make a pie out of your kusho you take it out and you mix all the stuff up you save the shell and then you bake the kusho on the shell and some people just take the kusho mix the ingredients up and just place it in a casserole dish and bake it that way you can go on uh, YouTube, you can find many different people showing you how to cook kusha. But it's a very tasty dish. And uh, hopefully this year I have some luck growing it. I've tried growing it before, once before, and I didn't really have any luck growing it. I grew one kusha, which just didn't get very big at all. And in order to stimulate the growth of these kusha right here, I'm going to add this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the, um, the compost to it. And hopefully that will uh, jumpstart the growth and make them grow even bigger and even better. But uh, that's the major thing I wanted to talk to you about, kusha and, uh, and compost. Like I said, uh, kusha is very tasty. If you can get hold of some seeds, go ahead and, uh, and grow some. It doesn't take many vines to produce a, a lot of kusha and they germinate really, really easily. And I just planted these directly into the flower bed, the seeds, and they germinated within a, within a week or so. And then they started to grow vines and, uh, and do what kushals do. So it's a really good crop to grow. You can grow it in a raised garden bed. You can grow it directly in the ground. But either way, I think you'll find it'll be a nice something to grow. Anyway, that's what I want to show you today. And I'm going to sign out of here right now. And I hope that it's coming on Friday. So that everyone has a fine last day at work. And that you also have a blessed weekend. Have a good one. Bye.